All right, welcome back to another video, guys. I'm Bash, this is Nomad Scrambler, and today, today we're talking all about the Scrambler 400X versus the Scrambler 900, which is what I'm currently riding today. I've ridden both, which was um, quite a cool experience, to be honest, uh, getting out on the 400X from Triumph, which was, pretty new when I went out and rode it for the first time and I've said it before I, I really did enjoy that bike it was um, it was a really good bike actually for me it wasn't in keeping with the scrambler lineup but it was a really fun little bike to ride and it it did rev out a lot more than say this the 900 which was which has a lot of its power down low. So anyway, today I wanna just go out and I wanna kind of break down the good points, the bad points about both bikes. And from a beginner's point of view, whether I would whether I would start on the 900 or the 400 if I had to um, do all of this again, I think we can kind of break down the bikes into different categories, to be honest. Like, yes, they're both scramblers, but however, the main thing for me is styling choices. So, for example, the Scrambler 400X has um, single cylinder, low pipe cast wheels, and uh, comes in with a, uh, a low mud guard as factory standard, which, yep, yeah, for a new bike and to keep costs down, I understand that you're probably gonna wanna, you know, cut some corners where you can. However, for me, the 900 has a more classic look about it and although it's a lot bigger engine it's really manageable for a new rider um, someone like me who who when they started had limited experience on a big bike it, it kind of just fit what i was going for more it's got like a bit of a v to it whereas the rest of triumph's lineup is has got that straight line through the fuel tank which you'll see um, on like this bike and on the 1200 and I think that if Triumph had just taken a little bit more care when designing the 400 it would certainly fit the lineup more and again the high pipe man it, if the Scrambler 400 came with a high pipe and the high mud guard from standard and I know I got flamed in the comments of my first ride for that's how scramblers were in the in the day. I'm talking like the rest of Triumph's lineup. It just doesn't fit into me, and therefore I, I wouldn't call it a scrambler. But no, if there was a company, a, uh, a design company, who basically he remade the scrambler in how it should have been made, and uh, yeah, it came out looking so so good, and that kind of just bought all the lines that were needed in line with the rest of the, the Triumph lineup. And I really enjoyed the way they came out, the way the whole bike came out when it was redesigned customly and they got rid of that weird angle in between the tank and the rear. Um, I'll throw photos up on screen and show you what I mean by that. That kind of just changed the whole bike to me. Then you've got the, the engine. As a beginner, the 400 is much more fun it's got more gears it's it's a bit pokier than the 900 engine in terms of um, how the power is delivered and if i was a beginner doing it all again i probably would start with the 400 engine just because it provides that lower power figure someone who's who's learning to uh to mess about on really the engine and the styling so I, i'd say it's currently like one 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 a piece in terms of um whether it's good or like which one i would choose the styling's going to the 900 and the engine definitely goes to the, the 400 for a beginner uh, a short rider i think the 900 takes that hands down because of the fact that it's um it's a lower seat height whereas the 900 sorry the the 400 has a much higher seat height which kind of does it is a noticeable difference uh, when you're on the 400 to the 900 and that's certainly something i noticed and i mean for me personally if you're gonna be out there as a short rider you kind of want something that you can flat foot as a beginner because if you can't flat foot it and for whatever reason um you get into a bit of a, a situation you can't 
you haven't got that safety net of just being able to put your your feet down so yeah two two one to the 400 at the moment if i was doing all this again what would i go for and then i think possibly one of the main things for me as well is because i don't like the look of a factory bike i really do want to um you know make it my own put my own stamp in it hence why i went with a nardo gray tank and changed out pretty much most things on the bike the other main thing for me the other main difference is the fact that the 900 has so many more moddable parts available for it as in like i could go out now and i could spend easily like two three grand on parts from exhaust to new seats to luggage racks to to all sorts of of gear that will make this bike a bit more my own whereas when you look for 400s yes they're starting to come in with like companies like zard now offering a 400 exhaust and I guarantee it will it will sound so good because like Zard don't miss. The market, the aftermarket, it's still growing on the 400X. So if you are somebody that likes to customize their bike, make it their own, um, at this very point in time, I would, I would say you're probably gonna be doing a lot of it yourself rather than buying off the shelf parts, which as a new rider, as somebody who's never really works on a bike in, in this situation you might not have the confidence to start stripping apart the bike and welding and making custom fabricated parts for your motorcycle in terms of like the fun experience though like like which one is more fun to ride in the stock form the 400 is a lot of fun it's got like a little bit of a, a weight and then the power delivery is in and then the 900, it's kind of like, you twist the throttle and it's there, noise noise and power, but because that comes low down in the rev range on the 900 compared to the four, I'd say that at lower speed in like uh, city riding, the 900 can definitely be more fun in its stock form. The higher speed stuff, the 400, once it gets up there, it is a lot of fun. It's very playful, very flickable. And I really enjoyed that about that particular bike. You've got the economy factor to look at as well. With petrol prices rising everywhere, my 900, I fill it up every single time I go out for a ride because it just completely drinks fuel. Whereas the 400 is going to be a lot more economical to run because of the fact that it is only a 400cc motorcycle. Personally, if I was going to do it all again, um, having ridden both bikes, for me, I'm still going to choose the 900, but I have a massive bias towards this bike because to me, it is just so much fun. If I was doing it again in the form it's in now, if I was buying this exact bike or a 400, there, there's no competition, man. This bike takes the custard every single day. It is such a good bike, so much fun. Got a great sound to it and it just kind of, opens up a whole different type of riding like the the off-road style of riding i would not have wanted to do a lot of that on my my 125 my ma but on this thing yeah every little green lane every little country lane i want to take this thing around them as opposed to um that 400 i would feel comfortable enough to take the 400 round on country lanes but there's just something about that 270 degree crank thumping that makes me like this bike more. Uh, I don't know what it is. I've uh, I've been discussing with one of the guys in the YouTube comments of the last video and saying like, look, if Triumph made a really small two cylinder with that 270 degree crank, that the four in the 400 cc, it would be an insane bike to uh, to run anyway i think that's going to be it for this one guys i'm having dramas with my microphone it never wants to seem to charge at the moment dji mics i do have a, a video coming soon on those i also have a full 2024 mods this video coming very very soon that i'm currently in the process of getting shots for and like ride by clips and all the good stuff that you would uh, expect on the uh 
for a video of that kind of caliber and size. It's one of my, my biggest productions to date. If you want to see those videos, if you want to be the first to see those videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you do. Subscribe if you aren't already and ring the bell to get notified when I post new videos. And, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.